Let's then turn to my home state of Maharashtra. That's the next big one. We are traveling west. South has been dominated by the UPA. What's happening in Maharashtra? And this is the big state because, remember, it gives you the second largest number of MPs. Let's take a look now at first what's happened with seat share in Maharashtra. Who is winning? 48 seats on offer. Look at this. It is the... You, it's the NDA all the way. The BJP Shiv Sena Alliance is the one which is driving this juggernaut in Maharashtra. 38 to 42 is what we are saying for the BJP Shiv Sena. So virtual repeat of last time. 2014 is being repeated in Maharashtra. Last time, remember, in Maharashtra, the BJP won 43 seats in Alliance. Now the halfway point is 40. 6 to 10 is just the figure that we have for the Congress NCP. The Congress NCP is only winning 6 to 10 seats in Maharashtra. But it is the BJP which has taken the big lead in Maharashtra. 38 to 42 is what we are predicting at the moment. Just let's take a look at the Congress figures as we widen the screen. 6 to 10 in Maharashtra is what we are only predicting for the Congress NCP. They've done badly again. And out of that, presumably, Pradeep, the NCP is doing better than the Congress. But yes. it's the BJP Shiv Sena Alliance which has taken such a big lead. What's happened? Actually, NCP has its core area. I would say core area in western Maharashtra, which is Baramati, Pune, Mawal, in those area. And they have their own loyal voters. When it comes to Congress, which has been traditionally doing very good in Vidar, but this time what had happened, Prakash Ambedkar formed alliance, formed alliance with AID, uh, with OVC's uh, party. Called BVA, and they took away almost lion's share of scheduled caste community, and which damaged Congress and so you are saying the Bahujan way. Vikas Aghadi of Prakash Ambedkar OVC has damaged the con uh, the Congress, particularly in Vidarbha. But look at this result yeah. for the BJP Shiv Sena. This is huge news and the best news so far after Karnataka. There was a lot the of BJP. talk, Rajdeep, of agrarian distress in Maharashtra that the Congress NCP is doing well in Vidarbha. None of that seems sure. to have happened according to this exit poll. This uh, is where the Modi factor uh, seems uh, to be really working now. I, I, the point that I think I would like to make is the trend seemed to suggest it's exactly 2014. But then two, three factors I think need to be budgeted in. The, what Rahul mentioned about Vidarbha. Yes, there may be farmers' distress, but I think when it comes to voting, <coughs> the farmer may think that between the op options that are available to me, maybe it's the BJP which should do better. And one more point, Rajdeep. There was a talk during the campaign that the Shiv Sena is the one which is pulling back and the BJP going forward. But what is found is that voters are saying that even if it's a Shiv Sena candidate, we will vote because it's a vote for one more seat for the NDA. You know, so and the interesting, the interesting thing of Maharashtra, remember it has assembly elections in five months from now and that's where agrarian distress may play more, a bigger factor. Maratwada is having a severe drought at the moment. But in a general election, Maharashtra has decided to stand with the party that they see represents its interest at the center better and there the Congress NCP doesn't stand up to the BJP Shiv Sena at the moment. Yes, very quickly, Pradeep. Uh, in fact, in Marathwala also, Prakash Ambedkar has ma made a big dent. In fact, he's contesting from Solapur seat, yes. where Sushil Kumar Sinde of Congress is also contesting. And he is uh, taking away all the scheduled caste votes there. And very interesting what's happening in Maharashtra, because without a big, large state like this to back up what they w perhaps would want to get from the Hindi heartland, the BJP would be struggling. But this is great news for the BJP, what's happened in Maharashtra. Oh.